We begin this half hour in the town of Newcastle. That is where a mom is suing her child's former school, claiming they did not tell her her child was using a different gender identity. Her high powered legal team says this is unconstitutional, while LGBTQ legal advocates argue the school was doing right by the child. New Center Maine's David Guilford has more from the Mid Coast. If a child identifies themselves with a different gender at school than they do at home, does the school have a constitutional responsibility to tell that child's parents? That's the core of an argument that started here at the Great Salt Bay School in Damariscotta, and it's one that's already gained national attention. Amber Levine of Newcastle is suing the school. Last December, Levine said she found a chest binder used to flatten someone's breasts in her 13-year-old child's room. Levine says the school either provided it or helped obtain it. Then she alleges she learned the school began using different pronouns and names for her child, all without telling her. Her attorneys say that violates Levine's 14th Amendment rights to liberty, arguing the public school infringed on her freedom to educate and raise her child as she saw fit. Those attorneys work for the Goldwater Institute, a conservative think tank based in Arizona that has thrown its weight behind gay and trans cases in the past. Adam Shelton is representing Levine. What we're saying is that once school officials uh, take an active step with regards to any sort of decision that directly affects the mental health or physical well-being of a child, they must tell the parents. It's, but it's only once the school officials take some sort of affirmative step on their end with respect to a child. We reached out to the school and the district for comment, but have not yet received a reply. Meanwhile, Mary Bonato, an attorney with GLBTQ Legal Advocates and Defenders, or GLAD, said schools have a responsibility to parents, yes, but their first priority is to the well-being and learning environment for their students. This is a legal complaint of a parent against a school for doing what schools are supposed to do, which is to be student-centered and to make sure that when students come to school, they have a safe, welcoming, supportive environment where they can be comfortable in their own skin and do what they are supposed to do at school, which is to be able to learn and develop. Shelton said Levine wants the court to force the school to write new policies, compelling staff to tell parents the quote, psychosexual development of students. He expects the case to move forward later this spring. In Damariscotta, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. The lawsuit was filed in federal court in Portland. The Great Salt Bay School was the target of two bomb threats in December and January. The Lincoln County News reported at the time the school board believed the threats were caused by a false narrative that had spread around the same time Levine made public comments to the board about the gender identity issue.